So everyone seems to agree the labor shortage here in New Jersey, it's real. How to deal with it, though, that's the debate tonight. News 12 New Jersey's Nick Medan is live in Rutherford with the story. Hi, Nick. Hi, Brittany. You know, it's these little signs. They are ubiquitous on this one street in this one town. And so tonight, a New Jersey congressman is increasing pressure on Governor Murphy to offer back to work bonuses. But others insist the government is already to blame and it's going to wreck the state's economy. The risotto house has been waiting for a moment like this. Restrictions gone, coming off a busy weekend, but a new problem tonight, not enough workers. We need people in the kitchen and we need uh, servers, bussers, but nobody's looking for a job. Even as New Jersey's unemployment rate is among the highest in the nation, almost 8%. Growing pressure tonight on the governor to offer $500 back to work bonuses and use federal stimulus money to pay for it. Other states are doing something similar. This is one way that we can help get people back into places like this. Places like this diner in Fairlawn still scaling back hours without enough help. But others insist bonuses won't do a thing, and it's obvious why. Government is already damaging the job market. We know how they're doing it by incentivizing, paying people to stay out of work. He's talking about that $300 a week from the federal government on top of state unemployment. A couple dozen Republican-led states announcing they'll cut off those extra benefits before their expected expiration, Labor Day. O'Scanlan says New Jersey should move to do the same to salvage the summer. What the congressman should do is have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with uh, his fellow Democrat governor and say, Governor, stop this nonsense. Not to be cruel, he says, but for the good of the economy, because people have been largely patient with these worker issues. But how long is that going to last? The next time and then the third time, is it'll be like, this is ridiculous, like, find employees. So, Nick, what's the governor saying about this tonight? Well, Brittany, he says he likes Gottheimer's bonus idea, but he's not ready to move on that just yet. He admits those $300 checks are likely part of the problem, but he says there are other factors at play as well. Child care, continued hybrid learning, and the fact that people, Brittany, might just still be weighing their options. Good point, Nick. Thank you so much.